Lawmakers return to the state capitol for the start of the 2018 legislative session. The Senate will come to order. During the opening session, newly elected Senator Mike Searpoy was sworn in by the Chief Justice of the Missouri Supreme Court. The Lee's Summit Republican replaces former Senator Will Kraus in representing the 8th Senatorial District. Following the first day of the legislative session, Senate Republicans who currently hold the supermajority in the chamber, address potential changes to the Missouri tax code, measures to stimulate economic development, and working with the governor to improve state infrastructure. When you have the seventh largest system and you're the 43rd in funding, those are just two numbers that don't quite match up all the time. So he, he the governor has told me he is very interested in trying to uh, uh, look for ways to fix that situation with our infrastructure funding whether he'll sign up for a particular plan right now, I think that's too early to say. In discussing their priorities for the 2018 legislative session, Senate Democrats mentioned ethics legislation, government transparency, and the downside of lowering taxes. It's nice to tell people we're going to reduce their taxes, but you have to tell them you're going to reduce their services at the same time. And we don't do that until the services aren't there. All eyes now turn to January 10th, when the governor will unveil his legislative agenda for the upcoming year during his annual State of the State Address. Reporting from the State Capitol in Jefferson City, I'm Zachary Rieger.